Hello viewers, welcome to the first Ratty tutorial ever video. And today I will be showing you how to use MBT Edit with Minecraft. Um, so first you must install MBT Edit. Uh, it's easy to find, you just Google it and the Minecraft forum page. And once you've downloaded, you should get this after you... Actually, I should probably go through the download, how to download. Okay, so, just cross out of all the other things here. Now, what you have to do is type in MBT Edit. And then click on this page. Once you've done that, you should come up with something that looks a bit like this. Uh, go to... Um, download, click me, or if that doesn't work, then click the mirror link, except uh, I'm just going to click this one, and the download will start, here it is, just open that up after it's downloaded, and you should get this. Now, what you're going to need uh, to open it, actually, is WinRAR, or a, uh, a .zip opening file opener. Okay, uh, now uh, select both files by holding control and then selecting the other file and click extract to. Then create a folder on your desktop, preferably called NBT Edit. And then click OK and then click OK again. Okay, now we've got our folder on our desktop. Just open that up, and it should come up with two files. Double click on MBT Edit. Now that you've got that, uh, what I'm going to show you to do are two different things. Uh, one, you will need the latest snapshot from Minecraft with. Uh, the minimum requirement for the latest snapshot is 12W. Uh, 40A. Now just click open and what we have here and then type in percent sign app data percent sign. Then double click on mine dot minecraft. Yours won't be as messy as mine if you don't have as many mobs mods that I have. And then click saves and go into the save that you have. If you haven't uh, got an item in your inventory yet, then click uh, open up Minecraft, go into your world, and then get an item that you would like. I'm going to get a stone sword. Now, I'm going to name this sword and enchant this sword uh, customly. So, I'm going to just save and quit. And you can leave Minecraft up if you want. But I'm going to quit just so that I can speed up my computer. Now, I'm going to load and then click level. And then, I'm going to click rodent 567. Hold on. Um, we have a problem. Uh, if you get a problem like this, then never mind. Just try again. App data. Dot Minecraft saves. And open the level dot dat file. for that to load. If it doesn't load, then just, like me, <laughs> just open it again. Okay, finally. Now just open up data, player, and inventory. Then go to the uh, piece of equipment that you want. If you can't find it because you have so much stuff in your inventory, then... Uh, just 
open up your web browser, go onto an a uh, item, search in Google item IDs, then click the first one. Now while that's loading, I'm going to open up all the little Lego pieces inside the inventory folder. Now we are going to go down and if because mine was a stone sword, the stone sword data value is 272. Now we will find 272 in all of these items. So there it is, ID 272. Now this is how to get a custom enchantment on your tool. So click the Lego brick up here called compound and then it will come up with a little box. Call this tag. Then click the list and then click compound. Call that ench. After that just click compound and you won't have to name it. Then click the red dot call that ID and then click back onto that Lego piece click the red dot again and call it LVL. Now we will have to go onto the Minecraft Wiki enchanting page. To do this just search up enchanting Minecraft and then just click enchanting. Scroll down until you find the sword enchantments for me if you want to enchant your armor, tools, or bow, it's all there for you. Except I'm going to be enchanting a sword. So, what you want to do is get the number next to it. So, I want sharpness on my sword. So, I'm going to type for ID 16. And then, I want to if I want to make the level 10, then you type in 10. If you want 100, 100 thousand whatever number you can get to except once it gets too big uh, it won't let you you just get an error so I'm going to do 10 now click save just minimize that just in case if it doesn't work and start up Minecraft again Click single player, well, for me, and then onto my world. And suddenly we have a stone sword with sharpness X, which means 10. Now I'll show you how to name your items, and for this you will need the latest snapshot from Minecraft. Or, if you're watching this video later, before, after I made it, quite a long time after I made it, then you have to have at least Minecraft 1.4. So I'm going to quit out of that and get MBT edit again. Now, I, if I want to call my stone sword something like stone sword of magic, then this is how I do it. You have to just uh, go into your tag, then click that, click the compound and t name it display. Then you have to click the little the big t and the little t called string and call that name then double click that and you can edit the value that's the name of the item that you're calling so for this i'll just call it ratty's sword now if you want to add a description for that item you must click list and string then call it law with a capital L, very important. And for the name, it must be a capital M N as well. Then just click uh, the name, the uh, string, the little t and the big T, and you can have as many lines as you want. So I'm going to have two. Now just double click that, call it whatever you want. Hi, and subscribe. Okay. Now click save 
and we can close out that because we won't need it anymore and I'm going to start up the latest snapshot for me so I'm going to log in and then just going to get the latest snapshot and go okay now I'm going to go into my world and suddenly my sword is called Raddy's sword and it's sharpness 10 and it says hi subscribe so that's it for today uh, leave a comment in this video for if you're having any trouble with anything and you would like a tutorial on it and goodbye